Hello Builders, how are you today? My name is Laszlo and today I'm going to uh, talk about a very interesting subject. That is preventing direct access to your CloudFront origins. We're going to do that with some custom headers and AWS WAF. So let's see a little bit more in detail what is um, our use case. So let's say we have um, an application that is hosted maybe on some EC2 instances fronted by a load balancer, or we could have an application um, written uh, in Lambda functions and um, uh, this could have in front an API gateway. And you could uh, place a CloudFront distribution um, in front of them uh, in order to leverage uh, the CloudFront network for caching and um, maybe um, um, DDoS protection and other uh, types of uh, use cases. And in this case, you would want your um, users to always go through the CloudFront distribution, so the, cloud, the edge network uh, that serves um, uh, CloudFront. So that would be the ideal case. So your user um, goes to the nearest edge location, uh, enters the CloudFront uh, um, network, and then the requests are routed to the load balancers or, or API gateways. But um, if you don't secure your origins, and the origins here are the application load balancer and the API gateway, then you could have the following situation your users might try to directly access the API gateway or the load balancer and you want to avoid that. And that is pretty simple uh, to do. Basically, we are going to introduce another uh, piece of, um, uh, of infrastructure here called WAF, AWS WAF. I've done a video on AWS WAF a while ago and I'm going to link it to, to this video. So you can check that out if you're not familiar with WAF. So how this will work? Um, in this case, um, the user will send the request again um, to the CloudFront network. And their CloudFront will add a header, a custom header. In this case, it will be XOrigin verify and it, it will be, have some secret value. And then, um, uh, CloudFront will request uh, will send this request to WAF, and WAF will check for this header. And if it has this header, then it will uh, forward the request to uh, API gateway and load balancer or or the load balancer. On the other hand, if um, the user tries to access um, without CloudFront, so directly, because WAF is integrated with uh, load balancers and API gateways, and you can associate them, then uh, the request would go first to WAF, and WAF would check for this uh, secret header, and if it's not there, then it would just deny um, the request. Now, this is the simple architecture. This can be um, uh, refined a bit. Maybe you can add some uh, secret rotation with the secret. Uh, uh, you, can, you can read the secret from Secret Manager and add some rotation to rotate the secrets for the header um, and uh, things like that. But we're just going to show uh, the basic uh, scenario here. So we are going to uh, actually implement this in the AWS console. First of all, let me show you what I already uh, created for us to be um, a little bit quicker on the implementation side. So I have an API gateway, uh, which we want to uh, protect this way. So right now, if I'm going to this backend API, this has a Lambda function behind. Uh, it's a very simple API. And if I'm um, going to access this one, um, let me just open it in a new uh, tab and let me append the products resource and you are going to see that it has its response uh, hello from lambda and api gateway so i can access this api directly okay so this is the api i also have a load balancer i also set up a load balancer so we can see everything in action so my load balancer is here uh, i have some um, instances behind it it's not uh, anything complicated 
So let's um, grab the URL here, paste it, and um, let's see. This is the load balanced website. Okay, I can access it directly. I also have a CloudFront distribution set up. And this one, um, if I go to this uh, distribution, it has two origins. I've set up both of, uh, of uh, these as origins, so the application load balancer and the uh, API gateway um, and some behavior. So if uh, I access the products, any, anything that contains products in the path here, I mean starts with products, then it will go to the API gateway um, and other requests will go to the load balancer. So let's see this as well. So I'm going to go to the general tab and this is the distribution domain name. So if I'm going to open this one, uh, you see it loads the load balanced website. And um, if I'm going to uh, use the products at the end, basically it uh, will go to the API gateway. So this is um, the distribution. Now what I want, I want when I access uh, directly these, so the API gateway uh, or the load balancer to uh, get back uh, deny and the load, uh, the CloudFront distribution should continue to work. For that, we need to set up a WAF, a web application firewall. So let's go to AWS WAF and let's create this. So um, let's go and um, go here to web ACLs. Let's create a web ACL. This is going to be my uh, default WAF, for example. And this is going to apply to load balancers and API gateways. Um, and I can add the associated resources. I'm going to do that a bit later. Um, the default behavior will be block. So we are going to block everything unless it matches some rules. And um, then I'm going to add the rules and I had to add my own rules and rule groups. And um, here let's call this check custom header uh, like this. And then um, this will be a regular rule. And we're going to inspect the uh, header, a single header. This header will be X origin verify and then uh, I want an exact match here exactly match a string and let's say he, this uh, this is some secret value this is the the value that I'm looking in the headers and then I can scroll down the block I already set click on add rule and click on next 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 and just create the web ACL. Now I have my ACL. Um, I'm going to go here and I'm, show, I'm showing you how you can associate some resources. So here in the associated AWS resources tab, let's add AWS resources. So first add our, let's add our uh, API and um, and there's some error why it's, it's an error interesting so let's try again um, i waited a little bit because the mm, waf was not created fully yet so let's click here on add again and um, this time hopefully it should work yes so i associated the uh, api let's also add the load balancer the web app load balancer, click on add. And this is now done. So these are associated with our WAF. And every time the request goes through um, uh, the web application firewall, it will look for uh, those uh, headers. Now, if we go back to uh, our load balancer, for example, and we refresh, we get a 403 forbidden. So we are no longer able to access the um, the load balancer. 
With the API Gateway, usually it takes a little bit of time until the changes are propagated, but it already started to show forbidden, at least for some roads, you see. Uh, after a while, it will, it will consistently show uh, a forbidden if you do refreshes. So you see it sometimes serves from the cache maybe and... But now it's forbidden, you're not allowed to access the API Gateway. Okay, but now our CloudFront distribution as well is not able to access it. It will get uh, a forbidden soon enough. And also if I'm trying to access it like this, that is because um, I'm refreshing and now it gets a forbidden. That is bec because um, um, CloudFront doesn't provide these headers to WAF uh, at the moment. We have to configure that. So let's go to CloudFront. And here at the origins, for each of these origins, we have to uh, configure uh, these headers to be forwarded. So let's click on edit uh, here, scroll down, and uh, you have here this cust add custom header, add header. And uh, here we are going to use this X origin verify and some secret value. And save the changes. So now uh, CloudFront will uh, send to the load balancer uh, to the load balancer, but it will encounter first the WAF and the WAF will check for this header. So let's do the same thing for the API gateway. Scroll down, add header, and the header here will be as well X origin verify some secret value. Uh, save the changes. So when you did this, um, usually with CloudFront distributions, it has to deploy it. And you see here deploying. And this takes a few minutes. So we have to wait for this to um, happen. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. So now the changes were deployed um, and um, origins were modified. Uh, actually here, um, in the CloudFront uh, distribution. So now if I'm trying to access the load balancer through CloudFront, uh, if I do a hard refresh, um, after a while it should um, show me um, the right content. So actually um, it always blocks and uh, that is because I've made a mistake. And let's go and correct that mistake. So the mistake was that when I set up the, uh, the WAF, the Web Application Firewall rule, the default um, behavior of my um, uh, Web Application Firewall is to block everything. And then in the rules that I have set up, so you see here the default action is block for the Web Application Firewall. And for the rules themselves, so here is this check uh, custom header um, rule, I have to go edit. And here, uh, if the request matches the statement, single header, X origin verify, some secret value, I have to allow. And I, I left it on the default block. And now if I click on save rule, I'm now allowing the um, action to happen if the header is matched. And if we go back now and check again uh, these things, so now, if I access the load balancer through CloudFront, I get back welcome to our load balanced website. And if I do the same for the API, again, I get hello from Lambda and API Gateway. This happens through CloudFront again. But if I go and try to do it directly through the API Gateway's URL, I still should get Forbidden, because the default rule says if the header is not matched, then block. So I still get forbidden when I'm doing the refreshes. And then here again for the uh, load balancer, let me refresh. And um, if I refresh, you see I get forbidden again, because I'm trying to access it directly and not through the uh, cloud from distribution as it should be. Um, and if I do it like that, it works 
So this is how you uh, prevent direct access to your load balancers and API gateway uh, if they are uh, behind a CloudFront distribution and you want to force the users to go through CloudFront. Um, so this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you with a new video soon.